Thank you for taking an interest in GCSE History at Nicholas Chamberlain. I'm going to take you through the course and some of the units that we do. So we take the AQA GCSE History Specification, and there are two papers. And each of the two papers has two units. So on paper one, you would start off by studying Germany 1890 to 1945. So we look at the Kaiser, the last king of Germany, and how the First World War sees him taken out of power. Then we look at all the problems that Germany faces after the First World War during the Weimar Republic. Problems with the Treaty of Versailles, with their economy, with their culture. And we look at how all these problems lead to the rise of Adolf Hitler. Then we look at how Hitler takes power and how he uses that power to push forward his racial policies and try and turn Germany into a new Third Reich, taking over as much of Europe as he possibly can. Also on paper one, we look at the Cold War. Starting after the Second World War in 1945, we look at how ideological differences between communist Russia and capitalist America almost lead the world to destruction. We look at the key events that lead to heightened tensions in Berlin, Korea, Vietnam, Cuba. And we look at how those tensions rise and how they fall. On paper two, we do a module that might be familiar to you by now. And the good news is, if you take on GCSE history, you'll actually already have done a quarter of the course. We look at health and the people and how medicine and health have developed from about the year 1000 right the way up to the modern day. But we also, on paper two, look at Elizabethan England. So we look at Queen Elizabeth. We look at how she ruled as a woman and how that made things difficult for her. We look at questions of marriage, of her relationship with Spain, with her courtiers. We look at key events like the Armada and how exploration started to open up Britain and lay the foundations for the British Empire. Also on paper two and as part of the Elizabeth module, there is a historic environment study. Now, this changes every single year. Uh, the current year 11s are looking at Kenilworth Castle. Previous years have looked at the Globe Theatre in London or the English Channel or Hardwick Hall in Derbyshire. What it will be is that the exam board will give us a specific place to look at and we know that one of the questions will be about that on the Elizabeth paper. And we can prepare and we can look at pre-release materials so that you can answer that really knowingly. All four modules work really well together. The Germany and the Cold War modules support each other to give you a really good grasp of the 20th century. The Health and the People and the Elizabethan England modules go further back in time than that, but particularly with Health and the People, you get that big view over historical change. And with Elizabethan England, you start to see how events as far back as the 15 1600s actually set the foundations for the world that we live in today. Now, you might be thinking, well, OK, if I study history, where can it take me? We have historians every year come on and study GCSE and on to A-level as well. And we've got a great track record for those people who stay with us and keep studying, going on to fantastic courses up and down the country. So it could be you going and studying film and production at Queen's Belfast, using the history skills that you've got. You could be going and doing international relations or politics. You could carry on history. Or you could use the skills that GCSE history gives you to carry on your study in other subjects and go on and become a nurse, a psychologist, a criminologist, because those skills of debate, of being able to look through evidence, of being critical, of being able to handle information and think about what's reliable and what isn't, are going to set you up for a whole range of fantastic courses. doesn't just have to be going on studying history. Law, politics, research, academia, the civil service, the creative industries, teaching, education, all have skills that you will start building up at GCSE history. And even if you take other subjects at A-level, or you take other subjects in your degree or apprenticeship, it'll be the history skills that got you there. <laughs>